So let's consider now the topic of central forces, or central force motion, which is the motion that results from a force that uh, connects two objects. Right, so the gravitational force is a central force motion of mass m1 and m2, and the force is along that direction. So the force on this one, if it's gravity, would be that way. The force on this one would be that way. And we can say that this is the vector r. And so if this is the origin of the coordinate system, then we have a vector r1 from the origin to the object of mass m1 and a vector r2 from the origin to the object of mass m2. And so we're considering a central potential that depends on the magnitude of that distance, r. <clears throat> so let's, uh, we know that momentum is conserved if the only force is between the objects, then the total momentum is conserved. So we have uh, an m1 times the velocity of this one, which is uh, r1 dot, right? Time derivative. It's mass times velocity, plus the same for the other one, which is m2 times r2 dot. That's the momentum P of the system, and that is, uh, that's a constant, right? That's not changing with time. So if we integrate this, so we integrate this, M1 is a constant, we get R1 plus M2 times R2 that is equal to this constant integrated in time, which gives us p vector times t, plus some other constant, but it's a vector equation where b is just some constant. <clears throat> in other words, it's a vector that doesn't depend on time. Now we know that the center of mass, um, I don't know why I wrote capital R, but R, let's, uh, let's get rid of that. Let's just say, let's just label R center of mass. R center of mass is equal to, right, the weighted sum of M times R. So it looks like M1 R1 plus M2 R2 over M1 plus M2. And therefore, we're dividing this by that, which is the same thing as this divided by that. So it must be true that the center of mass is PT plus B over M1 plus M2, the sum of the masses. And so we find that, uh, let's take the derivative of this center of mass, the time derivative of the, of the center of mass is just going to give us this first term. So it gives us P over the sum of the masses, M1 plus M2, and that is a constant. Sorry, this is RCM dot. So the, the velocity of the center of mass is a constant in the system where we have central force motion.